here we are at Sunday. Uh, while we were out for a walk yesterday on Saturday, I realised that the car MOT had expired um, actually yesterday on the 7th. So uh, we've got it booked in for an MOT at QuickFit. Uh, I'm hoping that it's going to pass with flying colours, but we'll let you know how we go on that. Well, today was a bit of a different day. We had uh, the car MOT'd and uh, on the way there, uh, we decided to do a bit of shopping, but the closest shop was not Aldi or Lidl where we like to shop usually, it was Tesco. So here's our Tesco shopping haul. So we got a bag of kale, curly kale, that was a special price, 69p. Not as cheap as Aldi or Lidl, I no. think there's 10p more expensive yes. Yes, in it is. Tesco. Yes. Then we got some Romaine hearts because we're going to use that in the um, lamb dish we're making. Six brave and apples, they were on a special offer, 59p. Oh, that is a good price. Yes. Yeah. Three bananas, 41p. A couple of avocados, 79. Ripe and ready, has avocados. Just two carrots, 12p. <laughs> that's, a, that's really expensive. Yes. A head of broccoli, 49. Yeah, it's about the same price as Aldi and Lidl. A cherry tomatoes, half price, Ooh, 45. Bargain price here. We've got some raspberries from mm. Spain. They're nearly Ooh. half price. Right, three pounds for raspberries, reduced to £1.68. Excellent bargain. This, <laughs> this would have been very expensive because it was £2 for mango, melon and cucumber fingers. Very, very expensive for a snack, but I Mango, it was reduced. Melon, yeah. cucumber. Got some, there's five uh, nectarines in there, and they were half priced, so that was 89p. We got some lamb's liver for Pippin. Ooh. Or maybe we'll have some as well, but it was a pound and four. And this one is, we, we, I'm using in um, a lamb dish. That is so expensive. There's two little bits of lamb there. And Neck fillets. Yeah, two pound 98. Wow. That was 99p, a cucumber. 99p, and that is best before the 12th of January. Yeah. It is a cauliflower, is it? Yeah, cauliflower, yeah. yeah. Cucumber was 49. This cucumber. Yeah. Not bad. There's the chicken breast pork ah. no, £4. Pounds. Chicken breast. That's now, that is. And you, and well, me, it's all a, of us. It's a staple of the paleo way. Tesco's only sell um, free range eggs. Good. Um, so that they were probably at least twice the price of what we would normally buy eggs for. Mm. Now these, oh. this is a reduced, it's a one pound. A special from, OXO box. Yeah, it was Wait. I only bought it because mm. to buy 18 oxos was more cheap, was more expensive than to buy them in the tin. Yeah. So, and that was four was pounds originally, but it was, edition. but it was reduced to a pound. So, isn't that good? We do actually have an old oxo box like this that we keep. This is one of our old things. We keep sort of stock cubes and stock things in. Usually OXOs. That I think um, is um, th over 30 years old, I yeah. think, because it's got. I'm sure I saw that it was in the early 80s, that one. So. Yeah. So that's good. So we shall still so keep uh, both tins. 1985, yeah. Oh, yes. So it's the Diamond Jubilee um, 1985 that was issued, 75 years of OXO. This so. was half price, the Hellman's Light Mayonnaise. 41p tinned mushrooms. Sliced mushrooms in water. The baked beans were 24p. These were a very special offer too. I think it was £1.20 and they are um, very quite natural. They're gluten free and they're really lovely if you're making some soups. 99p for some dark rye rivetas. Mm. And I wanted some mm. chipotle um, 
mix, but I couldn't get anything like it, so I got that. And that's to mix with the pork. The peppermint tea. Oh. I bought that because I enjoy that and it does settle your stomach. And some 0% fat Greek yogurt. Oh. I can't, I have to have yes. some dairy and I do like Greek yogurt. I do mm. love yogurt. And though the, um, when you're on the paleo, you're not supposed to have dairy. dairy. And I popped in no. two Waitrose because I wanted to get, Tesco's didn't stock it, I wanted to see if they had some almond uh, flour and also some of that chipotle powder, but they didn't have any. So I ended up buying these, which we need for another recipe. Those nuts, they're which, very expensive. Uh, macadamia nuts, hard. They were £3.75 yeah. for a tiny packet. The um, lemon juice, I know you should have got yeah. natural lemon juice, but sometimes it's just, you can't be perfect with everything. You do the best you can, I think. Also, I bought this fruit syrup, which is a natural sweetener, because I'm trying, not to have artificial sweeteners like saccharin or that stevia because I know they're not good for you and it really emphasises that in the um, paleo diet book and I wanted to also get some maple syrup but they didn't have any of that so I bought that fruit style syrup and it was a special price 2 24 mm. and then just because I saw those at 19p, they're fresh, wholesome, whole wheat noodles instead of 98 pence. So that's the lot that we got from Waitrose. And they do have some very, very nice stuff in Waitrose. Um, but we we really can't afford to shop there all the time. One day, maybe we will. So that's the end of our shopping haul. And the food... All that um, Tesco's came to £33, I think it was 30 No, maybe it wasn't as much as that. Um, all that in Tesco cost, I think it was 30 something, 31 or something. I've lost the receipt, so I'm giving you all the prices from memory. So I hope you enjoyed that shopping haul from Tesco's and Waitrose. We can't keep on shopping in wait so oh, we'd like to because it really really is very very expensive but it's a lovely shop to walk around anyway well hi i thought i'd give you a quick update on the mot for the car we took it to quick fit in caterham which was only like two or three miles down the road and um we booked it in he said it would take about 45 minutes which it did and it came out um and it passed first time um, no issues but there was an advisory for um, the front wheel alignment because the tires were sort of starting to wear unevenly which I sort of noticed just as I was uh, taking it to uh, the MOT so I wasn't surprised at that so they they could do the wheel alignment right there and then um, so I just said go ahead and do it this time around the price for just wheel alignment which actually took no more than five minutes was 67 pounds um, still it's all done um, the car is uh, okay for an MOT for another year and all the wheels are nice and the steering's working fine so we're sort of happy although MOT and wheel alignment cost us uh, just short of £110, not great, um, but there you go, the joys of motoring and the cost of owning a car. Hi guys and thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you liked our video please give us a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe. Check out all our other videos to keep following us on the road. Thanks everyone, bye. Bye bye.